This beautiful woman is Mao Wei. She is known as the world's most talented woman. She was the first woman to win the International Physics Prize at the age of 17. Compared to her appearance, her intelligence is more surprising. Compared with her intelligence, her patriotism is more admirable. In 2014, Mao, a doctor of electronic engineering who was highly praised overseas, was going to return to China, which instantly attracted widespread attention in the technology circles in China and the United States. After selling the house in the United States, she quickly resigned and decided to return to China. The company's top management was caught off guard, your annual salary is tens of millions, don't change jobs. She said, I'm not changing jobs, I'm going back to China. The top management was in panic, how about giving you permanent US citizenship? Mao Wei turned to leave, saying, no matter how well I am doing in the United States, it is not my hometown. My hometown needs me now. When the genius girl Mao Wei returned to China, the entire communication and electronics industry in China was so shocked. Her hometown, Nantong, Jiangsu province, gave her a very high level of support. She and her husband established Wincom Technologies Company, limited here to develop high-speed optoelectronic transceiver systems, complete software and hardware development and testing technologies. Three years later, the company realized the development of 25G per 100G electronic chips, which are the first batch of chips in China, breaking the Western monopoly on this chip market. On October 1, 2019, Mao, as a representative of outstanding talent returning from overseas studies, was invited to attend a military parade to celebrate the 70th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. It was also this year that she, as the technical director, was responsible for the research of major projects such as the Ministry of Science and Technology of China. Moreover, when Huawei faced the adversity of chip supply being cut off, the chips produced by Mao's company became Huawei's life-saving straw, and she was also called Huawei Savior by Chinese. Her research is of great significance. Currently, she leads the company and has developed many first-of-its-kind products in China and entrusted by the state to solve more chip technology problems. She said that she will live up to expectations and strive to realize the research of high-speed optical interconnect transceiver chips to help the development of Chinese chips. So, what is the life of this legendary woman? What contribution has she made to the development of China's chip industry? Today, we will talk about the story of the world's most talented woman, Mao Wei. Mao Wei was born in Nantong in 1978. She was born smart. At the age of 17, she represented China in the 26th International Physics Olympiad and won the gold medal. She is the first female champion in the history of this event and is also called the world's most talented girl by the media. At that time, even Chen Ningyang, a big name in the physics world, called on her. After attracting the attention of the media, many famous international schools sent invitation letters for this beautiful girl. Mao Wei finally chose to study at Tsinghua University. After graduating from Tsinghua, Mao Wei went to the University of California, Berkeley, to study optical communication and radio and other related technologies. At Berkeley, Mao was fortunate to have his mentor, Joseph M. Khan. This is an authority in the field of optical communication and a kind old man. During the two years of study, she deeply explored the research in the fields of 4G and 5G communication, automotive radar and other technical fields in the United States, and successfully obtained a doctorate degree in electronic engineering from the school. At this time, Mao has already accomplished her studies, but she did not choose to return to China, but planned to show her strength in high-end technology companies in the United States and demonstrate her scientific research achievements. As a scarce professional in the industry, Mao is very prominent even in the United States, where technology is the most developed. She successfully started as a project engineer and became the person in charge. With a new generation of broadband system as the research and development content, she quickly produced a multi-antenna reception scheme, and the coverage area of the base station exceeded 10 times that of the previous one. In two years of working, she has created hundreds of millions of dollars in benefits for the company. Such excellent women will naturally attract the attention of some excellent men. 
among the suitors, Mao accepted by Yun, a PhD from Stanford University. Two like-minded and powerful people soon entered the palace of marriage. So far, Mao Wei's life in the United States has been smooth sailing, and maybe she will settle down here and become a member of the upper class. But Mao never thought of taking the United States as her home. In her heart, there is only one motherland. In 2013, news broke out in the American electronic engineering circle that Mao was going to go back to China, and her husband would also go with her. The Chinese who got the news were naturally very happy, while the United States was very sad. However, resolutely rejecting all the preferential treatment given by the United States, the first stop for Mao and her husband to return to China was Mao Wei's hometown. The Nantong municipal government attaches great importance to the powerful returnees to start their own businesses. It not only provides them with office buildings and factories, but also solves the problem of enterprise employment. After returning to China, Mao focused on the research and development of domestic optical fibers and integrated circuits. It only took her three years to lead her team, and finally successfully developed a 25G high-end optical communication chip in 2017. The performance of the chip leads the world in terms of integration, sensitivity, and power consumption. When this chip was developed, it completely broke the monopoly of the United States and saved China tens of billions of purchase costs almost every year. More importantly, it has developed China's self-designed optical communications, accelerating China's technological development. In fact, Mao Wei's technology company is no longer an ordinary company. It represents the wings of Chinese chips. It is worth mentioning that Mao's achievements also relieved Huawei in distress. The establishment of Huawei's independent chip system is closely related to Mao's contribution and technical support. Actually, during the most difficult days, Mao brought a glimmer of hope to Huawei. In 2019, Mao officially joined the Jiangsu Provincial Innovation and Entrepreneurship Team and served as a key technical position responsible for national and provincial scientific and technological research and development. At present, Mao's team is stepping up research and development to provide 800G and 1000G solutions for the next generation of optical transceivers. Successfully changed from commercial R&D personnel to national scientific research personnel. After the team led by Mao put into work, they have applied for 20 domestic patents and 5 international patents. They are still working hard and contributing to the development of Chinese science and technology. In the eyes of those egoists, Mao, who gave up the generous treatment in the United States and was willing to return to China to start from scratch, was an out-and-out -out lunatic and gambler. However, as for whether everything is worth it, only Mao knows the most real answer in her heart. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.